Um, so coffee, so, I mean, you figure lots of cherries have so many good medicinal properties. Um, and I am going, we're going to share today. I, and this is from Nine Reasons Why Coffee is Good for You by John, John Hopkins Medicine. So, like, this is legit. It's official. It's, it's John not Hopkins just us. It's for real. It's John Hopkins. We've yeah. seen several articles all saying the same thing, yes. but we wanted to pick a reputable one. And they've mm -hmm. done a lot of studies. And mm -hmm. all of these are followed. If you go search online, they're all followed up by specific studies, which I have been out for years now. Are really yeah amazing for the health properties of coffee mm -hmm. um but first if you want to if you're watching and we have a little contest you can get um a t-shirt and a pound of coffee of your choice but here's your question you gotta answer below mm -hmm. what generally has more antioxidants coffee or tea because hmm. i think generally we we just um you know have preconceived notions about things so Absolutely. Without giving anything away. Mm -hmm. So let's go. Number one, you could live longer. Really? You can Sweet. live longer. Huh. You could live longer. <laughs> <laughs> you <Asterisk>. could. <laughs> How many cups a day do you have to have to live longer? Um, we look through a here? I'm not sure on this particular, some of them do have particular <laughs> studies. But it's four to five cups is like the perfect amount. And we're not talking like 16 ounce cups. We're talking what, five like, to six ounce cups. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of them do eight ounce. A lot of the research when I went back to it, I'm halfway do there. <laughs> um, but you're less likely to die from leading causes of death in women. So women could live longer. Hmm. Um, Sorry, guys. Things like heart disease yeah. and stroke, which we'll discuss. But I think it was like 30% mortality wow. rate was one study that I read. Okay. And we're also talking brewed coffee, not cream and sugar. Well, I feel very I mean, you violated can add right cream now. And sugar. But <laughs> I don't think that those detract from the health benefits. No. They just might add some inches to your thighs. <laughs> She's gonna spit out her coffee. <laughs> Do you see the color? My coffee is pretty, pretty uh, not dark. My coffee is about as white as the outside of my cup. <laughs> so, um, but less likely, thirty percent, which wow. is pretty huge. And that some of that is the heart disease and stroke. Mm -hmm. Two. So that was number one. Two, your body may process glucose sugar better. Oh. So it's kind of the Diet Coke candy bar theory. <laughs> Put some sugar in your coffee yeah. and it's just going to speed it up. I don't know. That makes sense. But you are, women who drink coffee are less likely to get type 2 diabetes. Really? Oh. Yes. That's mm -hmm. interesting. Which is, I mean, type 2 diabetes. How many people do you guys know have diabetes? A lot of people. Yeah, a lot. What if you actually... I so. must be old. <laughs> <laughs> well, two of them are my parents, so. Well. Yeah. Um, no. Oh, so, note. so. <laughs> less like, likely to get type two. two. You don't. I mean, Papa. I have like two people here. Papa, mm -hmm. Crystal. Mm -hmm. But they, I thought they had type one. No, type, type one two. is like you get it when you're a kid. When you're, um, when yeah, you're type yeah, one. Yeah, that's like a child. Older. And then yeah. type two. Mm -hmm. Um, Number three, because we're very serious today. Less likely to develop heart failure. No, I mean, and so, you would think caffeine would do the opposite. Well, like it says caffeine. a weakened heart has difficulty pumping enough blood to the body, mm -hmm. so maybe that maybe some of the caffeine because caffeine. some of these studies, not all mm -hmm. of them, I, I can't say to each study, but some of them were done with coffee, regular caffeinated coffee, and then they redid them with decaf coffee to see if the caffeine had any effect in it. So they redid the studies to take caffeine out of the equation. Because oh, I can see sense. caffeine kind of keeping your body. Yeah, so do you jolted. know if this one was done with caffeine? I do not because I did not go into all the footnotes this morning. I just wrote the broad <laughs> strokes of it. So if anybody has any, like, you know, just really wants to know the nitty gritty, they mm -hmm. can go to the John Hopkins Medicine 9 Reasons Why well, we Coffee can link is it. Good for You. We yes. can put the link in after. Yeah. Um, number four, um, less likely to develop Parkinson's. I have heard that before. Disease. Yeah. So there, and then we don't know again if it maybe has something to do with caffeine, but it mm -hmm. helps the nervous system. Mm -hmm. so even the you. blast of the caffeine. Mm -hmm. The what? The like yeah. blast. Oh uh, yeah, antioxidants. Mm -hmm. I mean, it because it, I to me it changes my thoughts totally when I really think about you know I mean how many cherry drinks and stuff have we drank in the past? Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? I mean, grape juice. Super if, foods. if your stomach feels sick, drink grape juice. Oh, I swear to God, yeah, that works. Yeah, get up. I get up in the middle of the night and drink grape juice, and I have not. Knock on wood. I have not gotten girl sick. 
don't know what else to say. I'm sure that's a lovely thought in there. Coffee. I mean, you're right, though. When my kids get sick, she's always like, drink grape juice. And then I'm so Oh, I drop fine. it off at their porches. Oh, she if has they don't to. Feel yeah. good. It might just be a placebo, but it, it works. Yeah. I don't care it if it's be. just a mental, mm-hmm. psychosomatic, whatever. I It, it works for me. So I drink grape <laughs> juice. And somebody said this, though, one of my mom blogs. They said they hadn't gotten sick in years and years and years. And the minute that their kid gets that feeling, they she starts drinking grape juice and yeah. has not gotten sick. Mm-hmm. That it can't coincide with your belly at the same time, which I'm sure is super scientific. But, <laughs> it um, works. Yeah. And if it just helps my head, I don't care. Yeah. So no, that was number four. Number five. Look at all the good medical advice you're giving this <laughs> By qualified doctors, for sure. Yeah. Not qualified doctors. Um, <laughs> it is, uh, you know, it's herbal. It's herbal remedies. I mean, like grape juice. You don't have to say an herbal remedies. <laughs> um, it does that just cover everything. Not covered by the FDA. <laughs> this was not approved. Um, five, it's good for your liver. Oh, nice. So, and this is regular and decaf, both mm-hmm. seem to have a protective effect in your liver. Coffee drinkers are more likely to have liver enzyme levels within a healthy range. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that's huge because. I don't know that you can do a lot to it. Well, the liver's right. in charge of detoxifying your body, right? And getting rid of the bad I stuff. I do not know. You tell it, us. Yeah. You I mean, tell us, Dr. Dr. Batty. We'll let you know about the liver and what it does. Um, but, yeah. I mean, and then sounds... Dr. Thing came in a Cracker Jack box. So let's just <laughs> be really clear. It's on my wall. If I printed it off, it's true. <laughs> Found it on the internet. Yeah. Listen true. Yeah. It's got uh, my name on it. I wrote just it like in. that, what did you get this morning? The the prince that wanted to give you $2.8 oh, million? Dollars. No, it was $12.5 million. Oh, yes. yes. So From Patty Ghana. quit immediately. Yeah. And is moving to Ghana. <laughs> Hi, Tiffany. <laughs> Hi, Tiffany. I re a little too silly this morning. Sorry. Maybe my second cup. Yeah. <laughs> um, a little much caffeine yeah. going on here. And just really, I think we're a little silly because. Good morning. Hi. Oh, hello. How are you? Good morning. Mm-hmm. I, is it morning where you are? I wonder. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm still in Vegas time, so it's very early morning <laughs> for me. <laughs> um. So you the know. enzymes, the liver. So number six. This is kind of crazy. Your DNA will. It didn't even say can. Will be stronger. Really. really? From drinking coffee. Uh-huh. But I then it's. So. Oh, hi, Crystal. How are you doing um, this morning? You may or may not still be on Vegas time. This oh, well. Yes. <laughs> 10 a.m. 10 a.m. <laughs> All right. It's 10 a.m. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. 10 a.m. we can work with. Um, well, Crystal's still on Vegas time with me, though. I, and, and, yeah. She's... <laughs> Okay, it's so, gonna change your DNA, or it will not your change DNA your DNA. Will be stronger, <laughs> but this definitely says dark roast coffee. Dark roast coffee decreases breakages in your DNA strands, really? which not occur not naturally, but can lead to cancer or tumors if not repaired what? by the cells. That's crazy. That is, and you know, if you're passing your DNA down right to your kids, and you. I yeah, know. I'm kind of blown away by that. Yeah, yeah this one that. was. This yeah. one I probably should have looked at a little bit more intense. <laughs> but John Hopkins, hey, <laughs> they know what they're talking about. I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I love it wasn't like dot org. <laughs> you know? like, so, like, this is definitely not from Wikipedia, is what you're saying. No, no. <laughs> thank goodness. Um, seven, your odds of getting colon cancer go way down. One in 23 women develop colon cancer. And decaf or regular coffee drinkers, again, are 26% less likely wow. to get colon cancer. That's crazy. I feel like every time you like tell me a fact, I have to take another drink because I feel like I, I really know. have I, to get I all this I feel like I body. should drink more coffee now. This is awesome. It's like a drinking game. Every time you tell me a fact, I have to take a shot. I'm like processing <laughs> okay. my glucose. Yeah. I'm it might be coffee. Not <laughs> getting diabetes or colon cancer. No. Detoxifying my liver. Let's go. Um, number eight may decrease and said may, so that was a big qualifier there. <laughs> may decrease your risk of getting Alzheimer's. Do you know most I didn't know this. Almost two thirds of people with Alzheimer's are women. I really? didn't know that. That which is pretty crazy yeah. when you think about it. Mm-hmm. Um, but caffeine in two cups a day may provide significant protection against developing Alzheimer's. So this is caffeine specific. Yes. 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 
So with cat, but I re- I thought this was a study they redid. They redid this with non-caffeinated coffee. So that was the same. this one for sure, it was the same. Okay. So women sixty-five or older who drank two to three mm-hmm. cups a day were less likely to develop dementia in general. Mm-hmm. Really? So we yeah. keep our minds strong, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so I wonder if it has something to do with a lot of working people are, you know, that in the working class or whatever, keeping your mind sharp and. Yeah. yeah, I did. I mean, I read about that. Like, um, people, like especially business people or whatever, people who want to keep their mind sharp, um, are do like word puzzles word and puzzles. and that kind of stuff. Which mm-hmm. you do see a lot of people like it used to be a yeah. thing, right? Do the crossword puzzles, right. and I can see even just like you know, as I get a little older, um, the words are a little harder to grasp. Kind of, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I can see where. I'm sorry. Cause- that's awful. Suffering from Alzheimer's. Oh, it That's is. Mm-hmm. And it is so tough to, I know Crystal's grandmother had that man who gone and visited and she was in very advanced and it was, mm-hmm. it's it a horrible was, thing to it's watch tough. To I read a great book. I wish if I can think about it, I'll put the, it was wonderful. It was a novel, but it was about this woman and she was getting Alzheimer's and she wrote a note to herself. If you don't remember these things, go upstairs, take these pills. Wow. Um, and she didn't remember those things, but by the time she got upstairs, she could she oh she, she forgot, forgot that she was supposed oh. to do to take the pills. Wow. Um, but it really was fascinating to see the progression of it in a novel. But yeah, that's interesting. Um, so now I'm like, okay, do I remember where I'm at? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going through those five Did things. Did you ever know where you were at in the first place? No, I'm a little <laughs> challenged. So, um, and nine. So the last one is not as likely to suffer a stroke. So for women, drinking at least one cup a day is associated with lowered stroke risk, which is the fourth leading cause of death in women. Wow. So That's drinking crazy. again. <laughs> that is pretty crazy. I remember though we read that thing where stroke symptoms present really differently in women really than in men. Mm-hmm. So most women don't even know they're having a stroke. Wow. Well, and I think heart disease, heart attacks too are just so different. And I think honestly, women Generally, I'm not going to say men are this way too, but we're just so used to, you know, you've, you're sick, but you've got kids or you've got responsibility. You just keep going. You just keep going. You just yeah. keep going. So you're not going to start be- stop because you've got something yeah. a little yeah. bit wrong, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. And it's scary to go to the doctor, so I get it. It's yeah. interesting how they pointed out some of these facts specifically towards women, too. Yeah, mm-hmm. it seemed like it was written towards women, yeah. I am going to say. Or maybe the results are better for women. I don't know. but mm-hmm. And then we did talk about caffeine. So I wanted to say um, the dec- recommended is three to five cups a day. Max intake of 400 milligrams of caffeine is the globally recommended. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and an eight-ounce cup has about 95 So really milligrams. four eight-ounce cups is about the maximum you should have a day. You should. But remember, you know, if our coffee is Arabica, it has less caffeine, too. It's right. got, so if you're drinking Robusta coffee, which is twice as caffeinated, mm-hmm. you know, that will be a big difference, too. And I would kind of assume that the purer your coffee is, mm-hmm. you know, like Arabica, the specially great coffees that we sell, would have more health benefits than something that's um, not. Yeah, I mean, it's grown. grown in better soil. It's grown. Right. You know, more naturally. It's so. developed. It takes twice as long to develop. So I it would be interesting if those studies were done between well, especially probably, coffee. It's kind and of that. like cooking. Like when you throw something in the microwave, you're just taking all the nutrients out of it because you're trying to cook it quick. Whereas mm-hmm. if you cook it slow and for a long time, you keep those nutrients in. And in this mm-hmm. article they did have um I thought it was interesting. There were just some um things that you can put in your coffee to flavor it. A uh, vanilla extract. Cardamom, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> cinnamon and cocoa powder. I knew, yeah. I knew Patty. She's our cook. She's, I'm like, I'm gonna mess that word up. Her mama, no, 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 no. There's a lot of syllables there. Um, but I thought that's interesting because really, that's what we do with our coffees, right? Is we just put there's no sugar, there's no yeah. Yeah. added things mm-hmm. in the. We just well, the last three ingredients, the cardamom, the cinnamon, and the cocoa powder, are also very high in antioxidants, mm-hmm. um, and known to be superfoods. So those are always good things to add oh, to your which coffee. Oh, which brewing is the healthiest way i don't think there is a healthier way but i know that some people like to use a gold filter over a paper filter because you get more flavor oils in it um okay. i don't know if that does anything to the health uh, we've got the, a resident yeah, our yeah. Actual is here. yeah. yeah. The, the best thing you can do is just rinse any filter that you use with water 
before you put the coffee in a brew through. Always mm. rinse your filter. Rinse your filter. Rinse your filter. Yeah. Even a paper filter, won't that like kind of fall No, apart? no, always or rinse not? paper filters. It'll also taste a lot better. You, you, you'd be surprised. Do you think that manual methods are better than like an automatic drip machine? Do you think you're probably extracting no, it's, more? It's just different. Just different. Yeah. That flavor profile is different. It's okay, different. so it sounds like make sure and rinse everything. Make sure and clean your brewers yeah. because... Those can obviously, yeah, yeah. and and it's still really still more water. about flavor than about health benefits. Mm -hmm. So, For sure. uh, but great question, thank you, Tiffany. Yes, and it is good to get a checkup I'm every year. Absolutely, like the information. This is great. Yeah. No, I thought it was really interesting, and I love going through it. Um, so back to antioxidants, though. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to give them another chance. <laughs> yeah, answer. so yeah. what has more antioxidants, tea or coffee? Just comment your answer below. Yes. And we'll pick someone, a U.S. only, of course, to win a prize. Probably what, within the next two hours, three hours? Mm -hmm. Someone with the correct answer, we'll say. I think we should do it till midnight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll do it we'll till midnight. We'll give you till yeah. midnight, just in case you're like, well, I guess you can't be at 2 a.m. and get mm -hmm. midnight, but yeah. just in case mm -hmm. you're late night, yes. late night person. So. Thank you all. I hope you learned something about coffee and the health mm -hmm. benefits. And, um, of course, remember the differences between, you know, specialty mm -hmm. good coffee and, you know, some of the other stuff. that <laughs> Great probably dried, doesn't, instant. Well, yeah. it probably doesn't have the same health benefits depending on, you know, if there's fillers and other things in coffee. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. but have a wonderful day and thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for coming to our TED Talk. <laughs> <laughs>